Now the catch is you can't look at it. That's pretty nice. <laughs> if I had a dollar for every time I found somebody's family member in a storage unit. It's April Fool's around here. I'm done with the whole collab and I find out that I was gifted a $5 no sale unit of trash by Jeebus and the hail. So let's see how much change we can come up with by the end of this video. That is about one of the most foulest things I've touched in a storage unit in a while. Now, what was in here? The Loco by Locher. Here. It's heavy. So, here we are. It is Monday morning. I think it's Memorial Day. And we are at the flea market. Huge week. Just got done with the big East Coast, West Coast collab. Everybody's on their way home. And I am back to work per normal. How you doing? All right. Look, pick a card. Any card. Now, the catch is you can't look at it. Only reason why we I say you can't card. look at it. No, don't show nobody. I'm not showing. Let's show me pick the card. I want card. you to guess what are the chances of that card being red or being black? Um, well, Matt, that's a trick question because it depends on where you gather from the deck in my hand. There are, there's only red and black. All right, it's 50 50. What color do you think you have? I think I have red. I flip it over. Let's see. Okay, you're right. Hold out your hand because with your other hand, you can. Because uh, with your other hand, I sort of all I want you to do is sandwich your card, okay? So put it on top of your card, okay? Because I'm gonna cut the deck and I'm gonna pick a card. What color do you think my card will be? Red or black? Red. Red? It's a black jack. But I take my jack and I go one, two, three, just like that. See, I have your nine. That's pretty nice. <laughs> <laughs> it, Uncle Mike, you missed that. <laughs> do it again to him. Same one? Same yeah. one? No. Yeah. yeah, I do the same one. I do a different one. Try to pull it out. Memorize it. Don't show me. Okay. You got it? Uh huh. Alright, middle of the deck, I'm going to swing this right there. Right okay, now I'm going to close up the deck. Hold out your hand. Because I'm going to guess where your card is by taking out packets. Okay? I'm going to assume your card is somewhere right here. Is this your card? Nope. Okay, give me one, two, three, four, five tries. If it's one of these five, don't tell me which one. But when I'm done, say yes or no, okay? okay. One, two, three, four, five. Now, was it one of these five? Yeah. All right, hold on to the deck. I don't need it. Now, I don't know if it's the first, second, third, fourth, or fifth, but was it the four of diamonds? No. No? All right. The 10 of spades. Yeah. All right, now watch. If I take it, flip it upside down, and throw it, just like that, I now have one, two, three, four cards. See? Now, flip, flip over the deck and look for it. Uh, pretty good, buddy. Yeah. That's that pretty good. What is it? Uh, what is it? Do you uh, have a place people can see you do this magic? Huh? You have a, a place, any place anybody can see you do this magic? No, I'm just in town for a little bit. All right, you don't do like social media or YouTube or nothing like that. That's cool. What's That's your name? Damien. Damien. Yeah. What's your name? Justin. All right. Are All you guys right. related? No. I'm gonna put this on my YouTube channel. A lot of people are gonna see it. I got uh, just hit 34,000 subscribers. All right, man. Might get more. Yeah, All I right, appreciate that. Look, everybody, we got a rare uh, sighting of Uncle Michael here. Uh, Uncle Michael, what is it? Monday? Monday. Do you want to blow everybody a kiss, Uncle Michael? No, no. You don't no, no, no. kiss. Yeah, Mary. Mary. Morning, Mary. Ah! Michael. Oh, my son. Where have you been? I'm fantastic. I think the whole world has missed you. Yeah, Well, you're back now. And you sounds all right. Mm -hmm. All right, you ready for school? Yes. You gonna be optimistic? Mm -hmm. Great. Blessing. Ah! We're almost done wrapping this unit up. The personal stuff to deliver. Now we're gonna go take back all the personal stuff. Believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, this is a cremated remains. If I had a dollar for every time I found somebody's family member in a storage unit, words don't describe. You guys know that I have a collection of them that didn't have a place to be returned, that the managers wouldn't take, etc. cetera, et cetera. Look, this place will take them. We was take them back to the place, but some places are full. Like I'm pretty sure I've contacted this one a few times and they're full and can't accept anymore because most people will not come back and get them. Whew. All right, so here's the deal. Apparently it's April Fool's around here. I'm done with the whole collab and I find out that I was gifted a $5 no sale unit of trash by Jeebus and the Hales. What the hails is wrong with this situation? We're about to sit here and unbox this unit. Apparently, uh, they're a little sour because they found out who is the best at picking storage units. The pirate. We all should have guessed that anyway. If you had any doubt, I still love you. 
Jeebus and the Hales, whole Jeebus family, I still love y'all. Still love y'all. We'll have to do this again sometime soon. But thank you very much for this lovely little gift. Unit 199. And here we are. Stuff. Looks like a whole bunch of Stockton stuffers. Nobody wanted this unit. Nobody was billing a bid. I got it for five bucks. Well, I did not get it. What the Hales and Treasure Hunting with Jeebus teamed up and bought this for five dollars and they left it for me. We'll say left it for me. Talks are that Trek is supposed to be something worthy. We got a couple suitcases. We'll probably get to those last. Everybody knows the trunk suitcases, et cetera, et cetera. There's where all the good stuff is usually in a unit. We will find out. Stay tuned. Here we got some movies. What were they watching? Walking Tall. I love this movie. It's a very inspirational thought process. Walk Tall. What do we got here? Fantastic. Born Ultimatum. These were great movies. These were I Am Legend, The Fifth Element, Harry Potter, Incredible Hulk, Born Identity, another great movie. All right, that's a few bucks. Ooh, we got some air pump. Got a little bit of clothes. Clothes always sell, especially at Stockton. Let's see if we have any name brands real quick. Looking like one and two dollar bills here. Tommy Bahama. That's a good brand. That's about me a four or five dollar shirt. Leather coat. What do we got? What do we got here? No tag. K and S. Hmm. Maybe a ten dollar bill. King, who's in the golf. Looks like a golfer type person. You see the style. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Good one. What do we got here? Clowning the band. A lot of regular shirts. Here we have a dresser. Believe it or not, where I sell in my market, Stockton, shout out to San Joaquin County Fairgrounds. This is at least 15 bucks. Gotta do what you gotta do. They wanna try to stick me with trash. I'll find a way to turn this water into wine like I always do. Shout out to Uncle Michael for teaching me them tricks. Now, everybody knows dressers also usually have something cool. So let's see what they have. Drugs. And vitamins. And red hot seasoning. Ooh, we got wood. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We found three cents. Let's see how much change we can come up with by the end of this video. Let's see if we can pay for this unit and change. Before we get to the end of this, Yan can cook pot stickers. All right, Department of Healthcare. We won't go there. The doctor and Mr. Dillon. Okay. Book. A cable. And what do we have here? Drugs. QPAP. Add a set of fetamin. A brand new one of those foot deodorant, a razor, it's used, we can't keep that sadly. I like to keep razors, I use them all the time. We have anything in the book? Nope, we got notes. Wow, swagger, he had swagger. We are now up to four cents. All right, what do we have here? Oh, oh, it is a kitchen, a brand new turkey basting, rubbin roasting, rubbin, I said rubbin, oven roasting turkey pan. What do we have here, a fan? I got a new fan for you, Jeremy. And I got a scale for you, Jeebus. What do we got here? Oh, way. We got way. We got some weights. We got a plug. And we got a sunbeam blender. Woohoo! End up with the cold after all this whole week of work and everything we did. My voice is a little off. What do we got here? Chocolate. Another list of great movies. This is a good one. Yippee ki yay, mother. What in the world do we have here? Oh, it's a breathing apparatus. And another filter. These are the kind of lovely things you like finding in a storage unit. If you got kids or electronics, you know how oh, batteries cost a fortune. You always need them. 
So I try to keep everything like that when I buy a storage unit. Batteries are a bonus. I'd almost think that they planted this in there. Mega rolls. Uh, Jeremy loves to find toilet paper. See, what do we got here? Six bucks in sheets. Oh, there's another baking item. It's a baking dish. Ooh, ointment, athlete's foot cream. Sheets, sheets, and more sheets. Oh, sheet. What do we got here? Some shoes, some golf shoes. Foot joy. We got like a, probably a fifteen dollar sale there. Bag of shoes. Well, this is great. What is this? Purified water. Uh, looks like urine. Looks like freaking urine leaking inside of the unit. I've seen it all. This is just great. That is about. One of the most foulest things I've touched in a storage unit in a while. <laughs> Good one, guys. Good one. You guys think you're funny now? You guys think you're funny now? This right here is probably not a bad item. This has got to be worth at least $15 or $20. It is a leather coat. It is uh, made by Cabela's. Cabela's is a very good brand. Ooh, this unit's looking tossed. Looks like every box is tossed. Did the previous unit go through every box like this and leave me nothing but junk? Did Jeebus and Jeremy go through everything in this unit and make it look like junk? Which was it? You tell me right now. Comment below. Comment in the comments. Let's pause this for a minute. Let's pause this video. Stop. Time out. I can't use two hands because I'm by myself. There's a picture of this one right here. Time out. Now, what do you guys think? Comment below. Did Jeremy and Jeebus go through this unit before they left me with it? They paid $5 from and didn't uh, go inside that I know of. Or did the previous tenant go through this unit, put a, a 93 for the previous tenant, put a 41 for Jeebus and Jeremy. Now we got, now we got to figure out how we're going to move everything without looking or touching the P. I call towels already. All towel everything. You got to look though. You never know if some, people might hide their million dollars under a bunch of towels. Here we got a laptop inside of a North Face bag. That is probably looking like a decent item. We got an Acer. Acer is not exactly the most top uh, warranted brand out there, but if it's in good shape, it's a few dollars, especially if it works. What do you think? You think when I open this up, it's gonna be keys? There's gonna be keys inside of here and a nice working screen are gonna be demolished. Type uh, 67 if you think it's in good shape. Type 39 if it's in bad shape. We will open it on 82. One 1,000. Two one thousand. Sixty four one thousand. Psych just kidding, eighty two. Ooh, not bad. Not bad. Oh, he was one of those who think the internet's watching so they cover up the camera so that the camera don't watch you. Not bad. Windows seven. This is probably forty bucks like it is without testing it, seeing if it works. Finding a cord, etc. etc. What do we got here? A Sony some type of TV? Is it in there? Is it in there? What do you think? Comment below right now. You know how storage units are. You already know. It looks like somebody went through this, whether it was the tenant or Jeremy and Jeebus. I'm cleaning it. What do you think? Is the TV in there? Is the TV in there? You're going to have to wait till the end of the video to find out. Mag 850 Minura uh, stationary bike maker. Nice. That's brand new in the box, it looks like. Almost brand new, got a little dust on, so maybe slightly used. Nice, nice, we found more gold. We found more gold. This box is marked cereal. What? Thank the Lord, it's not cereal. We got a pressure cooker. Is there anything in the pressure cooker? Nope, no honey. We got lids, got some hands. Clank, clank, clank. Clank. We get a coffee mug. All right, here we go. A polo, a pair of pants, a pair of Ralph Lauren polo pants. What is this? This looks expensive. We'll put this over here to open up last. I don't know what this is. Never seen it. Loco by Lotcher. What makes me think it's cool is it says 93 at 250. This one right here is already open. 
Imagine that. Imagine that, guys. I'm going to go ahead and open it now because I can't get these to close and I don't want to lock it. So we're going to see what's in there now. On 182. 43, 1,000. 44, 1,000. 182. Huh. The other one feels a lot heavier than this. I will say that when I picked it up. What do we got here? Uh, Ireland. Shout out to Ireland. This is not bad. We got some pots and pans. A little bit of kitchen stuff. Looks like some decent pots and pans. That's got to be, what is it? What have we got here? Uh, I don't know that brand. But that's got to be at least a $25 box here. Whoo! What do we got here? A Hoover vacuum wide path. You guys all know what I say about vacuums. They suck. Look at the size of this cane. It comes up to my belly button. This thing is mass. I'm starting to wonder if this was Jeebus' actual unit. What do we got here? Some paperwork, some notes. We get some notes, no stories, nothing. Oh, what is this? Jeebus, the joke's on you, buddy. You stole my blender and sold it, pawned it for your in and out. Look what I got. Ice. I'm really starting to think this is, this must have been Jeebus' actual unit because there's coincidence there's a tall cane and now I'm finding a mixer. Unit's been tossed and left to me for them to clean, for me to clean out because they went back home and I find a blender. It's already been known. He stole my blender and he pawned it so we can go get in and out. Almost getting done here. I gotta pick this up real quick. I'll throw this in the elevator, get this pee mess they left me cleaned up. And then we found a few more coins. Let's see how far we go. Let's see if we were able to pay for this unit with the change that we allocated from the floor. Let us not forget to hit the like button, the share button, and maybe make a positive comment like, I love you. All right, first things first. Nice trek, look how tall that is. Once again, look how tall that is. Look where it comes to me. I'm really starting to think this was Jeebus' unit. Like, his is a physical unit. He brought a bunch of stuff from the East Coast of his own. Kind of did like a dump run. Probably flew everything out here. Stuck it in a unit. Had him auction it off for me. Now, what was in here? The Loco by Lotcher. Ooh, hopefully nothing good. We just dropped it. And on 100,462. And go. What? What do we got? What do we, what the, what is this? What is this kind of watch, everybody? Anybody know right now in the comments, please comment below what kind of watch this Laco by Lotcher, or if I'm probably killing the word, because you guys know out there I suck at pronouncing words. Leco, Lacau, Lec, Lachau. Could be French, could be wee wee. Tell me right now, what is this worth? Comment below. What does it say on the box? What does it say on the box? It says right here, 93 of 250. Maybe it has some actual intrinsic value to this watch. Could I have actually found a treasure? Thanks to treasure hunting with Jeebus and what the hails leaving me this unit to clean out because they skipped town. That lifted my spirits a little bit because I was sitting here thinking, man, these jerks come out here, um, have a nice collaboration. They get mad because they see what the storage pirate can actually do when it comes to profiling a unit so to speak and picking out the best unit for the best price and they like hey uh sorry we forgot to clean that unit out you're gonna have to deal with it and then i find some form of treasure now let's continue what is in the tv box if it has anything what is in the blue suitcase and how much change do we find on the floor sony bravia ex 7040 is it in there what's the guess Ba -da -ba, ba -da -ba, ba -da -ba. Yep, it's in there. That's money right there. That's probably, let's say 80 to 100 bucks. It is a Sony Bravia, which is a more expensive TV, but you can see the dust on it. It's been a little used. It's a little bit older. It has internet video. That's before smart television. Now, what is in here? It's heavy. It's heavy. What do you guys think? Here, get this one. Come over here and get this one. And auction. Huh. Brand new ping golf shirt, $52. Brand new ping shirt, $55. Brand new ping shirt, Seven, these things are getting more expensive as they come. Come on, $1,000 shirt. Pink shirt, 
$70. Nice. Yeah, if anybody's looking for a size 4X ping shirt, hit me up. Brand new. Come on, be something else good. Tie bow, work on your tie bow. Got some socks. Mail. What do we got? Stephen King. Stephen King on writing. I like writing. I write poems. I write songs. I write sweet words and nothing. Nice. Well, we got the shirts. How much change do we get? 25, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, a dollar. 10, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. A dollar 28. I am going to save that dollar 28 for the chances that I ever make it out. If we ever do an East Coast collab, that I will be able to outbid the both of you on a storage unit. 